Hi, I'm WSAV digital reporter Ashley Williams, and I'm here at the beach on Tybee Island, where the Georgia's coast is not an ashtray. Cigarette litter campaign is underway for its second year. Throughout this month, bars and restaurants on Tybee Island will be doing their part to discourage people from leaving these cigarette butts and many others all over the island. Especially at the beach, because cigarette butts are the greatest source of ocean trash. In the past decade, cigarette smoking in the U.S. has dropped by 28%. But that hasn't changed the fact that cigarette butts are still the most littered item in the states and across the globe. Here on Tybee, the city has teamed up with groups like Keep Savannah Beautiful and Tybee Clean Beach Volunteers to get the message out about keeping local beaches and waterways healthy. Kate Burns, a member of the Tybee Island Beach Task Force, says the amount of butts collected locally in recent years has been staggering. The Tybee Clean Beach Volunteers, every week they go out and they clean um, litter off the beach and they've been collecting information over the last several years and our colleagues there have found out or have collected themselves over the three-year period somewhat in the range of 750,000 cigarette butts in three years. One of the biggest problems with cigarette butts is they're not easily biodegradable because of the type of plastic they're made out of. It's possible that cigarette butts may take anywhere from 10 to 15 years to break down. The butts are also harmful to wildlife and marine life, which often eat them. We know that the fish are eating them, so we would prefer that they don't have that to eat. They can eat other little baby fish, but leave the cigarette butts in a trash can, hopefully, or in an ashtray. By Friday, 30 restaurants and bars on Tybee Island will have thousands of coasters just like these. Free portable ashtrays like these will also be available this month. There will also be additional ash cans added along sidewalks. Designated ash receptacles, or ash cans, help keep litter down, and for every additional ash can, the litter rate for cigarettes goes down by 9%. The ones that are currently out there, like on Tiberisa, Burns says, are often full, which is a good sign. She says while they're not trying to force people to stop smoking, they want them to do it in a responsible way. Over time, if we can't get people to do it responsibly, we're then people are going to have to move to smoke-free beaches. For WSAV, I'm digital reporter Ashley Williams.